After several days of horrible weather, finally it warms up. So we can keep working on the school bus. And here you can see that's the plywood. We are just coating it so we can use it for the inside. And that's also the rack for the drying session. And ta-da! That's my school bus. Isn't it look awesome? I love the color, even though it's not my favorite baby yellow. The baby blue looks quite nice and clean. What do you think? And this is the, uh, I call it a greenhouse section, the semi greenhouse section. You see all the glasses are replaced with uh, acrylic boards. So which is quite uh, sturdy and uh, it's not as cold as glass. And the top, they cut it so they can uh, replace uh, You see here. The top, it is also glass, and the side is also glass. I mean, sorry, acrylic boards, they cut it. But what I'm concerned is the side. You see the little triangle part. I don't know how do they want to seal it and make it properly sealed. Not only for the glass part, I mean the window part, also for the bus, so no water can go in. Uh, I need this cast uh, with my degener. Alex, you know, his name is Alex. He's not here right now. And this part, that's the back. We still need to repaint it. And this part, this side, that's the north part of the bus, which will face to the north. As I mentioned before, it's heavily insulated from inside. It's kind of like a wall. That's the inside of my school bus. Look at my seat. It is size is the professional racing car seat. I don't know, my husband is being silly. And this box here, that will be my furnace. Actually, I'm using solar panel. And uh, here, you see that's where I can turn on the bus. There is a monitor while I drive. I can just look at the monitor and see what's everywhere. And there is a fan will push the air go through. This is my working area. Like uh, I can deal with soil plants. This section they haven't built the rack for my plants. It's mainly growing there or this place there. And that's the sink you can see. And that's another section for the furnace. The whole thing you see the wires, the electricity wires are buried underneath this glass thing. And this pipe here that is for ventilation. This section that will be my office area. We were planning to have a bathroom at the back here before, but we may change our mind. You see the insulation to the side of the bus. And now let's look up here, the ceiling. Is that glass or is it acrylic? It's acrylic. And uh, yeah, good. How about the side here? Like. Uh, here. They'll be like uh, down here. Oh, good. Let's go and have a look about the side I'm worried. This is my beloved husband, Mr. No, Mr. Boo Boo Boo. Oh, oh, they cut some, what's that? Metal. Metal. Mm -hmm. And uh, is, how thick is it? Is it insulated? It's not insulated. But in that situation, it will be cold. Well, this will be this will be as cold and there oh. will be cedar wood put here so you won't see this oh okay you'll this is like this oh it, so it will be coated by like the woods like that uh no like, like this oh like this oh okay sounds good it will protect the the conies slightly not full full but right well we're also going to put uh rails wooden rails here and here so that you can put a shade cloth in the summertime. Oh yeah. But also in the wintertime, we could set up a blanket uh -huh. so that at night we can, or if we're gonna be gone for a while, we can 
close it off and just run the electrical and grow lights in here. Oh, okay. So, there are ways to um, prevent it from getting too cold. Wonderful. That's the purpose uh, for this bus. Uh, it would be used as a semi greenhouse. I will repeat uh, semi is because the south facing part you can see is always uh, windows, uh, but they are not openable. And the north part of the bus is uh, fully insulated and uh, would be covered uh, for by all these. Uh, and these will be replaced by a wooden kind of door. Oh, just temporary. Oh, okay. So, so they don't look very pretty, but there'll be a door there so you can do. Case with an electrical problem, you can fix it. Oh, so we can open those uh, like anywhere we can. So probably one or two long doors. Oh, okay. So we can fix things. Oh, sounds good. And then yes. you'll have one USB charger there. You'll have one USB charger there, and yeah. you'll have one USB by your office, so you can charge your phone or your computer from a USB C. Oh, that's cool. That sounds good. A really short fall. Good job, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, any more details you want to tell? Uh, so, how about this, this window? So this is going to be a vent and we're going to a fan like that. We currently are planning to put here that kind of moves so that you can push this. Well, you push this open, ah. push this open <laughs> like this and then you would have a fan here that would blow all the air straight. And then you'd have a fan over there and a fan over here pushing air this way. Oh. And so all the hot air would be ejected out of there forcibly so there will be another fan another fan like that like this uh, why not like this one uh because we want it to be very powerful so those are smaller but they are really like a uh, nice and yeah, they don't take they're a not be as strong and they're they don't to, they don't take a lot of space and they, yeah, are... they just don't work the same oh okay so but we, Ooh, have, they we have that one there's an uh, its sister is over here the same one's over there by the door so there are two of those There'll be four little fans, and then the one big fan out. Where are the little sister fan? Oh, oh, there, there it is. And then here's your air conditioner. Oh, okay. So you can use it. It's that. already installed. Yeah, it's installed. Oh, okay, cool. Not powered yet, but it's installed. Oh. Would the solar energy enough to support the aircon? Maybe. We aren't oh. totally sure yet. Okay. I like that answer. But here, if we put a big like a fan like this, yeah. wouldn't it be in the way when people walk? Huh? We don't think so. Uh, we think that this will be, we can mount it high enough and you'll be able to move it around, but we haven't finished the design. So we will see. It will be a problem. Um, I just got to, I just oh, got yay. And, uh, She's re he's recording. She's re here. Come on, come on. This, uh, oh. Sorry, Alex is on phone. I want to show you guys. Right, hey, this is Alex. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> this, this is so cool. Yeah. I am so, so excited. He's the one I can help uh, these things happen. And uh, with my husband, uh, these two guys, <laughs> they are amazing. Uh, if you happen want to convert your bus to a camper or uh, whatever and find Alex, what's the name of your company? Uh, Dream Division LLC. I will put it on the screen so people can search you. Awesome. Yeah, but we don't want to wear yes. <laughs> you. We will actually, um, so I just got off the phone with another investor. Uh, we will actually have a custom shop built um, within the next 45 days where we'll have welders and a farm on site and we're going to bring in livestock, um, goats and stuff like that and have basically a headquarters where we can branch off and make Airbnbs all over the country where at each one of them we will have a station where you can pull over and fix up your rig and get your rig work done or build a rig for you. So it'll be very, very cool. I'm very, very excited. Oh yeah, that's another business for Alex. He's a he bought a piece of land and he want to build a A shape of heart, right? Yes. And he want to, you know, use himself and he can also use it as Airbnb. Yes. Yes, wonderful. Exactly. <laughs> Thank I'm, you, Alex. Yes, of course. Thank you, guys. <laughs>